Afternoon all. We've got a blown up Lindsay drive and we ain't gonna be able to fix this. That firing channel right there is smoked. Now this Lindsay drive is model EVS9322-ES. And we're gonna buy a new one to replace this blown drive. IWT shorted out and shot back up through the gate firing channels. But what we need to do here is we need to get the parameters off of the control board of this blown up drive. So we're going to put 5 volts and 24 volts into this stake connector right here. At the end of the video, I'll show you what pins I connect to, and uh, as we go along, I'll, I'll show you. But the parameters are held in memory over here in this flash, and uh, we're going to connect this LECOM to the Lindsay COM port right here. After we power up this drive, we'll be able to connect our laptop to this RS-232 port. All right, let's move the blown up parts out of the way and we'll put five volts and 24 volts on the control board. Got the top power supply set to 24 volts DC, and I've got the bottom power supply set to 5 volts DC. I don't get them mixed up. <laughs> you put 24 volts on that 5 volt circuit over there, and you ain't gonna be getting no parameters out of nothing. <laughs> okay, let me turn these off right here. Here's my diagram that I use, and uh, I'll put this up at the end of the video, but the 5 volts goes on the X50 state connector on pin 26, and there's three grounds, three logic grounds, one on 19, 32, and 42, those are your three ground pins. To power up the Lindsay COM port over there, you need to put 24 volts on pin 11 or 12, they're tied together, and it's ground on 9 and 10, either one, they're tied together. That's an isolated COM port over there, that's why you need to put this 24 volts and it's ground on those pins right there. All right, let me show you where pin one is. You see a number one right there on this top pin. There's two rows, a top row and a bottom row. And pin one is this top left pin right here. And they alternate. They go one on top, two on bottom, three on top, four on bottom, five on top, six on bottom, all the way over to the end pin there on the uh, bottom row right side. So the first power supply I'm going to hook up is the 24. We need to go to pins 11 or 12 with the plus 24. So here's one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven. There's pin eleven right there. And right beside it will be nine and ten. There's one, three, five, seven, nine. That's our ground pin right there. And the five volts goes to twenty-six. That's the even row on the bottom. There's 
two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six, eight, twenty, two, four, six, right there. And the ground goes to nineteen, thirty two, or forty two, and I'll pick out nineteen because that's on the top row. We'll go one. Three, five, seven, nine, one, three, five, seven, nineteen, right there. Now we're all hooked up. Power supply wise, we need to look hook up the uh, recom. Flip that around so you can see that part number. You need this to connect your control board to the laptop. We're hooked up correctly, and, we, and I double checked we are. When I power this up, that red and green LED will come on, then the green LED will go off, and the red LED will start blinking. There we go. Okay. Turn that off. We'll hook up the LECOM. Connects in like this. This goes here. You gotta have a laptop with a DB9 RS232 connector. I imagine could use a USB to RS-232 adapter. That might work. Plug this into the back of the laptop. Now we're hooked up. I'm put you over here in front of the laptop now. But we're going to open up a program called Global Drive Easy. That's from Lindsay. Okay. Global Drive Control. Okay, when you first power up this program, you'll get the Find Lecom AB Drives. So click on Search. It found it. Now it's going to read the parameters from that control board into the program. This takes a while. We've got all of the parameters loaded into this program from that control board. And we've got a fault, 
trip fault. <laughs> well, <laughs> that drive's missing half itself, so I imagine there's going to be all kinds of trip faults. <laughs> okay, now, if you look at a few parameters, click on things. Over here, here's the code list. This shows all of the parameters in that drive. You can scroll down and see what's in there. But we want to go over here to drive parameters and down here is the menu item write all parameter sets to the file so we're going to click on that and we're going to give this a unique name right here Let's give it job ID 4809. There you go. Now, when we get the new drive in, of course we'll have the whole, uh, the whole complete drive. We'll come back to this same computer and we'll go down here to read parameter sets. Read all parameter sets from the file. Click on that. We'll click on job ID 4809. Click OK. It will load the parameters we just saved into this program. When we get that new drive, I'll show you how to upload those uh, parameters into a drive. And save them into the eSquare Prom. Right now, we just wanted to see that we can power up that control board without the blown up base. All right, folks. Thank you very much for stopping by. We'll see you next time.